In today's tutorial, let's learn how to do the pebbled textured hat. It's available in three sizes, all the way from two to four years of age, just like so. You also have the eight to 10 years of age, and then we have adult. The video title of today's video is indicating which pattern we'll be working with today. Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host Mikey. Today we're going to work on the child size. This is a two to four year old size available pattern. It's a great little pattern. You're going to need a size H five millimeter crochet hook today and some Karen one pound yarn. Let's get started on making this pattern. So let's review the pattern that we have in all of the three sizes that are available in one pattern. And if you're not familiar with reading patterns, this is just a brief overview on how to do so. So you're going to notice that it, it is fitting two to four years, eight to ten, or adult. And you'll notice that there are different colors on the pattern. You can also see here, and it says that there's one ball for each one of the sizes. And then also if you're looking at the colors, one ball of Karen one pound can make seven two to four size and can make five eight to ten years of age size and then four adult size. So when we're going to read the pattern the rounds one all the way to six are identical for all of the hats regardless of the size and then once you get here see how it does a color change. This is the instructions that we're going to be doing as we go along. So what's gonna happen here is that once we get the sixth round done this is when the story changes. So the size that we're doing in this tutorial is the one that's listed as the video title. So if you're doing the two to four at this point you'll go here and then eight and then jump all the way to the end and then finish all the hat sizes right here up in the upper corner. So if you're doing the other sizes it's eight to ten years and adult you'll continue along with this. You'll notice that this says seven round and that also says seven round. So if you're getting all the way to six and you're doing a bigger size other than two to four then you just jump down here. Now also for the adults it's seven but you'll see here for adults you'll continue along and do even more. So that's how you get the different sizes of this pattern. So it's just telling you all the increments in order for getting this right size for the width of the growth. They all finish off the same way of just doing all the way down over here and then it becomes really quite easy in order to master. So you can also do the pom pom that's on there or you can put a pre-made pom pom. Uh, Bernat has really cool um, really huge actually pom poms that are really quite nice. I use them on my own hats or you can make them yourself and make them really quite, quite customized for yourself. So let's continue with today's tutorial. And finally before we get started this is a prototype of the two to four size. I did it just to make sure I understood the pattern. You can see how nice this looks. Actually I love the texture on this hat. Um, it does a great job with really hiding in those um, seam lines. You don't even see it. It's great and I really like it. So you can turn it inside out. You can see that the, there's ridges and because of that it forms nice pockets of warm air when you're wearing it and it makes it for a very warm hat. Also a really quite an interesting one. So I just have to do a pom pom or put a pre-made one on this one but again this is for my donation box and this is what we're going for today. So let's start on the top of the hat and work our way down to uh, through the crown and then all the way to the brim. We're gonna start off with a slip knot and using a five millimeter size H crochet hook today. We're going to begin by chaining two. So one and two and what we're going to do is in the first chain the very first one we're going to put in six single crochets into that center, into that first one. So one, two, and three. And what I want you to do as you're running over the straggler, put it down on top so it gets caught underneath. So we have four, five, and six. So now we have to slip stitch it to the beginning single crochet. So how do you know which one it is if you're confused? Just look back and count back. So one, two, three, four, five, and six right there. So just count back to the sixth one and you'll get it perfect every time. Just yarn over and pull through and through and that forms the top of your center of your hat. Let's move along to round number two. Round number two is very unusual. I've never ever seen this done in a hat before but you know what? New things, old dog, new tricks, <laughs> anything is possible. We're gonna chain up three right now. One, two and three and in this pattern every time we chain up three in a round it counts as a double crochet. It's important to remember that because that'll be a factor later. So coming into the same stitch where you joined and I want you to put in two more double crochets. Okay so every one of the remaining five stitches that you have left are each gonna have three double crochets in there. So one, 
two and three. So I've never had a hat start off like this. So it's kind of neat. It's a new, it's a new kind of concept for myself at least. Maybe old thing. So every stitch is gonna get three double crochets into it and it'll expand that circle really quite quickly and uh, really quite nicely as well. Okay, so three double crochets in each and I'll see you back here in just a moment. So I'm coming up all the way back around and I need to count how many groups of three I have. There should be a total of six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So you know that you're done. You're just gonna slip stitch it to the top of the beginning chain three. It's important that you keep it. So you notice how open it was and then I just closed it. It's kinda cool. Let's move along to round number three. Round number three, again very easy. We're gonna chain up one and in the same st join stitch we wanna put in two single crochets. And then the next two double crochets are going to be one single crochet each. So here's the repeat pattern for this whole entire round. The next one is gonna be two single crochets and then the next two stitches are one single crochet each. Okay, so continue that same pattern and going all the way around. So the next one is two into the same one and then the next two are one single crochet each. Please do that all the way around. As you come up all the way around the final three stitches if you're keeping this pattern can correct you had two in the same and then two individual that you'll end up with this, the right configuration at the end. So this one there's two and then the last two are gonna be one by themselves. Okay so it, it keeps the pattern consistent and then you just join it to the beginning single crochet that you started with to, to, to conclude that. Okay so you really are looking for the consistency of the pattern. Let's move along to round number four. Round number four is a little unusual so just bear with me and just follow along. So you're gonna chain up three which counts as a double crochet and we're gonna come into the very next stitch. Okay right here not the same one that's in the join but the very next one and you're gonna put in two double crochets. So the repeat pattern on this particular round and what makes it unusual is that the next two are gonna be a double crochet each and then it goes back down and the next one is gonna be two double crochets into the same one. So one and two. And why this is unusual for myself is that it's rare for me to ever see uh, a crochet stand alone. Usually it's always a double that's right in the beginning. So in the end of this what's gonna happen is that the stitch before will be at one by itself and then the stitch before that will be two into the same one. It just helps you get perspective and clarity for those that are uh, concerned that it's not gonna work out. It does. Okay so the repeat pattern on this one is two into the same one and then the next two are by themselves for double crochets and that is round number four. So do that all the way around. I'll see you at the end. So coming up all the way around the next one there's two in the same one and as I promised and I know that I'm right because I've already done a prototype the final stitch here is just one by itself in order to keep count because the next one is one and then it goes back to two. So I know that it's right. So I wanna join this to the top of the beginning chain three to conclude that round. So that was round number four. So now the story is gonna change and now we're starting to get the pebble look and that's coming up in round number five. In round number five we're gonna start getting that really fancy footwork and it's a, and it's abbreviation called DCFP. That's double crochet front post so no big deal. And then the other one is CRDCFP <laughs> and that's a cross double crochet front post. And so we're going to be uh, doing this a particular uh, idea going all the way around. The words are, are bigger than really the reality of the work. So let's begin. We're gonna chain up three. One, two, and three. And coming down I want you to follow it down. Okay skip this one and go to the next one. And we're gonna do a front post double crochet. So a double crochet front post. So wrap the hook going around the post and pop it out the other side. Pull through, pull through two and two. Okay, so now we're going to come back and we're gonna get the one that we jumped over. So we're gonna wrap the hook and come into the one before it. Pull, go around as a front post, pull through, pull through two and two. So there you have a double crochet that has a cross in it. Okay, it's crossing over. So in this particular row what we have to do or round, we have to put a double crochet right in the space before the next post. So you see that these two are in the are now the front post. So I wanna put it right in the space there so a double crochet before I do another crossover. So let's do a crossover again. So we're gonna skip the first one, go to the second, wrap the hook going into the front post. Pull through, 
pull through two and two to finish that stitch. Now go to the one that you skipped. So wrap the hook, the one you skipped, pull through, pull through two and two. That's done. So now the next double crochet is right in between the space before the next one, you, before you start your next crossover. Okay, so let's do this uh, front post uh, crossover again. So just cross over, so wrap the hook and go to the second one, pull through, pull through two and two, go to the one you skipped and then finish it off by going into the space before the next set that you're gonna cross over. So let's review that one more time. So crossing or yarning over, going to the one next over. Okay, so you skipped one, go to the one you just skipped and now double crochet into the space before you cross over once again. Please do that all the way around. So I'm coming up all the way around and I want to finish this off. Now what I did wrong on the prototype is about what I'm about to show you not to do. So if you're doing this right, you're gonna have two final posts that are left and you can do your crossover. And what I did in the prototype is that after I finished the crossover is that I still put in another the double crochet in the space but think about it, this chaining of three counted as the double crochet so I just have to join it after I get my last crossover done. Okay, so that is that one there. So I had actually put another one there so my next round I was off by one stitch and I couldn't figure out for the life of me what was wrong and now I figured it out actually last night. So let's uh, move on to round number six. Round number six, very easy round. We're just gonna chain up three and it's just one double crochet in each of the stitches going all the way around. So we come to the very next stitch that's available to you and into every stitch of just one double crochet into every stitch going around. So we're not actually increasing at all. Um, I think what we're doing in this particular point based on what I've done with the prototype is that we're giving the hat time to expand naturally. So just by putting in one double crochet into each it allows it to do so. So let's finish off then round number six. So I'll meet you back here in just a moment. So I'm coming up all the way back around. Remember that the final crossover was the final because in the end of the last one remember that that one that's supposed to be in the space is that chain three. So just join it with the top of the beginning chain three. So that concludes off to round number six. So let's just quickly review and then let's move along. So in preparation of this tutorial all of the three hats are, are identical now from rounds one through six. Now the story is going to change as we convert it to the size that we're doing. The title of this video is indicating what size that we're gonna work on next. But this is exactly what we're doing and so it's just really easy to make these. I've actually quite enjoyed them. I actually made these in a pot holders too. <laughs> I like the, the concept of the pebbling look. Let's move along to the next part of this tutorial. So moving along to the two to four years of age, we're gonna do round number seven together. So round number seven is slightly different than what we've done in this crossing over before. In the crossover the ones before, we put in a double crochet and a space but we're not gonna do that in every space going all the way forward. We're just gonna be randomly selecting those but when I mean random, it means it's gonna be different. It's not gonna be the same. So I will show you the pattern on what that's gonna look like. So we're gonna chain up three which counts as one of the do double crochets in the space. We're gonna skip over. So go look down and skip over to the next one over and do your crossover. Okay, and if you look at the pattern it says three times. So you're gonna do this crossing over three times in a row. So you're not gonna put a double crochet in the space like you did down here. Okay, so let's go over to the next one. So just skip over, go to the second one over, and do your crossover. So you're looking for three crossovers before you do that double crochet into a space. So let's do another set. So let's reach over and then come back and get that one you skipped. So now you have three crossovers. Now you're gonna put a double crochet into the space. Okay, so let's repeat this again. So the next two, it's a crossover. So one out of three. Okay, and crossover again. So just skip over to the second one over. You get that and now go to the third one and once the third one is complete you're gonna put a double crochet in that space before you start that again. So right here in the space. Okay, so continue that same patterning going all the way around three crossovers and then a double crochet into the space. Three crossovers and then a double crochet in the space and please do that all the way for round number seven. So I'm coming up all the way around and my next one is the double crochet in the space and then I'm left with six posts. 
So this means that it's right because I have three crossovers to do yet and then this starting chain three then is the next double crochet in the space technically. So if you're not looking like that at this point you know that you've done something wrong but it's a great indication to have these kind of markers uh, in the sense that you know exactly what you're looking for in order to have a complete hat. So this is concluding off round number seven and I'm just doing three crossovers as the final and then I'm going to just join it to the top of the beginning chain three that we started with like so. And that concludes off round number seven. So let's move along to round number eight. In round number eight for the two to four size it says to go back and do round number six. Round number six remember how easy that was? It was chaining a three and then it's one double crochet in each of the double crochets that are going all the way around. Okay? So this round because the fact that you only put one double crochet in each space every t every third one it will not grow as big this time and you'll start seeing a probably bowl in because you are making a child size version. So the the circumference of the hat is nearly complete at this point as it starts now to form the child's head size. So just one double crochet in each one of the crochets all the way around. So now I've just come all the way around and I'm just gonna join it to the top of the beginning chain three. So now we're going to move along in the pattern and now we have to flip the page and go to the second page on the pattern. So when I'm looking at the instructions I've just completed the eighth round here and now there's nothing else below. So now we have to flip the page and it says all sizes first round. So this is what we're going to be doing here and what we need to do is that we need to repeat rounds one and two for the duration to get for the first size. Do you see how it's here? And here this is five inches. This here 12.5 is in centimeters for those that would prefer that unit of measure. So I have to say that you have to repeat the last two rounds and you only have to repeat it once uh, actually for doing this size for the uh, from the two to four years of age. So that gives you an indication but again get your tape measure just in case that I'm wrong. So let's begin the first round of doing all sizes for then the two to four size. So we're going to chain up three, one, two, and three and begin the crossover right away. So just coming straight down, come to the next one over and you're just gonna do a crossover in every one or like uh, crossovers without any uh, doing any double crochets in the spaces at all. So just quickly just jump over and do another crossover in the next one. So again remember that you are skipping one going to the second one over when you do crossovers and then you double crochet in the front post on the ones that you skipped. So I need you to do that all the way around for this round. So this is all sizes first round and you'll need to do that all the way around. I'll meet you back here in just a moment. Coming up all the way back around I only have two posts left and I'm doing my crossovers. So it says to slip stitch and join it to the top of the beginning chain three. So we're going to continue in the all sizes category and round number two and this is a repeat round so we're going to be probably coming back and doing this one more time is that it's just chaining up three and it's one double crochet in each one of the stitches going all the way around. Okay so just a one double crochet in each stitch going all the way around for round number two. So our goal for the remember for the the size of the two to four is that we need to get a five inch uh, length from the top all the way down. So I know based on the prototype that I have to do rounds one and two one more time in order to get it to that length. So I'll come back and I'll join you back here in just a moment. So I'm coming up all the way back around and I'm just joining it to the top of the chain three like so. So now I'm just gonna take a tape measure and just quickly measure just to prove to you that it's not big enough. So we're just gonna do that. So I need a total of five inches. You see that? So it's only four inches right now. So I can do another two revolutions of round one and two for all sizes in order to complete this. So let's uh, review that once again. So let's go back to round number one of all sizes and we want to chain up three and then just come down and just cross over. Okay so we're just gonna cross over again all the way around. Okay so there's no double crochets in any spaces just crossing over etc. So please do that all the way for repeating this round once again. So I'm just coming up all the way back around and I'm just doing my crossovers like I had been and now I'm just going to join to the top of the beginning chain three. So in this particular example of the two to four um, we're gonna repeat 
the second round one more time in the, in the uh, all sizes. So we just chain up three and then it's just one double crochet in each of the stitches going all the way around. So this will be the last time that you're going to do the um, all sizes area and then we're gonna jump down to the edging which is the brim area around the forehead of the child. We're gonna be doing that next. So continue to do one double crochet in each going all the way around. So I'm coming up all the way back around and it's just one double crochet in each of the stitches going all the way around and you're gonna join it with the top of the beginning chain three. So this is what it looks like at this point. Now we have to add a brim to it. So we're going to be doing this and the brim is a little bit interesting. The very first time we do the brim we're going to be reducing stitches every now and then so that it gives it a little bit of tension to the forehead and we're gonna be covering that next. So let's move along to the edging of round number one. Round number one we're going to chain one and then one single crochet into the beginning into the same one as the join. So here's what's gonna happen in this particular one that we do. So we are going to put in one single crochet into each of the next 12 and then we're gonna do two together. So we're just gonna come along and count it out. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. The next two are gonna be together. So we insert our hook in to the next stitch, pull through, insert our hook into the next stitch, pull through, and then pull through all three loops. And those two single crochets just became one. So let's repeat the pattern again. So the next 12 are going to be uh, on their own. So okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, so that was thirteen so let me come back one. It should have only been twelve. So the next two then are together. So just pull through, pull through and then pull through all three loops. Okay, so this is going to eliminate almost an inch of the diameter which makes it a nicer or tight look. So continue that same pattern and going all the, right, all the way around. So 12 in a row and then the next two are together, 12 in a row and next two are together and you'll come back to the end just like this. In the instructions it'll say and there it says one single crochet in each of the zero stitches. So that means that they're the last stitch is when we go to work out that the two together will be in the very final. Okay, so there won't be any more single crochets after that which makes complete sense. So we're just gonna join it to the beginning single crochet that we started with. Okay, do you get that? So on the other sides as you'll see in the pattern that the next one was two. So when we do that one that there should be two empty stitches before we start joining and that's what you're looking at there. Let's turn our work. So yes it's unusual but we're gonna turn our work now and we're gonna look at the inside of the hat and then begin round number two. Okay, rounds number two and three and four we're gonna turn our work back and forth as we go to do each of the rounds. So we're gonna chain up one and we're gonna go into the back loop only. So we're gonna come in and every stitch is made up of two strands of string. Okay, the one that's furthest away from you is the back loop. The one closest to you is the front loop. So coming back to where you've joined just go into the back loop only. Okay, and just do a single crochet and you're gonna do this a back loops all the way around. What this is gonna do it's gonna form um, a raised ridge that you can see that in the model sample on the pattern. So you're just gonna do one single crochet in each back loop going all the way around. Once you get started it's really quite easy. It's just a matter of getting that first one out there in order to really see it. Okay, so back loops a uh, single crochet in each one of the stitches going all the way around. Okay, you're going to single crochet in the back loops all the way around on this round and you're gonna come into the final stitch and then just join it to the beginning single crochet. So now we're gonna turn our work and move up to round number three. So round number three again it's gonna be back loop work. Chain up one and go into the back loop only and do single crochets. So this round number three is just the same thing just going in the back loops only and you'll see that the ridge will start forming on the front of the hat. So please do that all the way for round number three. 
Okay, coming up all the way around on round number four, it's just back loops only for single crochet and then join it to the beginning single crochet that we started with. So round number four is the final round. We're gonna turn our work once again and do it as round number two. We're just chaining one and then single crochet into the back loop only going all the way around. This is the final round for the size of hat two to four inches or sorry two to four years of age. Getting that first one is always a tricky one but just back loop only for single crochet all the way around for round number four. When we come back I'll show you how to finish off and weave in your tails and you're good to go. This hat is good to wear or throw into your donation box for a great charity idea. Till next time we'll see you in just a moment and uh, sorry I almost finished this video and I'm not done. <laughs> I'll be right back. So I'm coming up all the way back around round number four the final and this hat is done coming in final stitch and then I'm just gonna join it with the top of the beginning single crochet. So now I'm going to trim off my yarn. I'm going to create a, a hidden tail. So just it's about 12 inches long and about a foot and just pull through. So what I wanna do with this straggler here is that I wanna put it onto a darning needle and I wanna weave in my ends and if you go in three different directions you can hide in your weave in, uh, woven in ends perfectly without it ever falling out. You'll never see it either most of the time. Unless you're a crocheter then you really do see it. So you're gonna come right underneath and you're gonna go about an inch across right inside the fibers itself and come in across and then you're gonna turn around and go back in the direction you came but go in a different set of fibers. If you go in the exact same path it'll fall out and then come back in third, third time right underneath like this. Your project can never stretch three ways at the same time so therefore this will never fall out. So just give it a bit of a tug and then you can trim off your edge and then if you go to the inside of your hat you probably have your straggler here. I had you hide it underneath some of the stitches so you can go right down. Now you can finish this off with the pom pom. We do have a tutorial available on how to make pom poms or you can buy a ready made one just sew it right down to the top and this is how you do this. So this is the two to four uh, years of age size. Really quite a fabulous hat. I love the texture on this and hopefully uh, you love it as well. So until next time I'm Mikey on behalf of the Crochet Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com. Have a great day and we'll see you again real soon. Bye bye.